as you can see right here, it comes out. And it comes out and it goes in. It goes in here. And that goes here. They, they held their women in high regards because of birth, creation of life. So a lot of their sculptures featured women. It's a beautiful sculpture. They have the best. Me, the Luba tribe has the best. My favorite. I shouldn't say best. My favorite sculpturing. Put this in here. King Congola. He's the founder of the Luba Kingdom. The king of the Luba kingdom. He was evil. He oppressed his people. Okay, under him was Kalala. Who was the general. He was a righteous man, a warrior. He conquered regions and regions and expanded the Luba. This stick is from the Luba kingdom. He expanded the Luba kingdom. Kongola, the founder, the king, he got extremely jealous of Kalala's fame. So... He tried to indirectly, 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 indirectly kill him. So he plotted to kill him without letting anybody know that he's the one who's trying to kill him like it's an accident. Sends him to war, puts him in the front line of warfare. It backfired. Kalala, righteous general, wins. Expands the region even more, gains more fame. Congola became more and more jealous, but then he thought, huh, it's tradition. A leader, when he leads his army to victory, comes back, dances in front of the people. Congola had a nice plan. He dug a ditch, a hole where Kalala will be dancing. He dug a hole, he stuck spikes, sticks, spears, every, all sharp objects, stakes, so, and he covered it with a flat mat and put leaves, grass over it. So, when, so Kalala, as he's dancing, he can fall into it and come to his demise and die pretty much. So here's what got me. The drum started beating. Boom, 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 boom. Kalala started dancing. Started dancing. So when all this is happening, you know, like, for example, animals have a heightened sense of awareness. Like a dog can sense if somebody is out to harm him. You know, animals can sense uh, anger. They can sense harm coming upon them. They have the sense of awareness. Kalala, a great warrior, had this sense of awareness. He can sense the energy coming from Congola, the jealousy, the anger, the envy. He can sense it. And the drum beats, the drum beats, the vibration. You can hear it. The, the mixture of the vibration, his sense of awareness, of that negative energy coming towards him, it warned him to tread lightly. So that's what he did. He, this warrior, Kalala, heightened sense of awareness, sensed this threat. So his, since he sensed that threat, he treaded lightly. He danced lightly. He looked for every corner, anything that looked different, anything that looked suspicious. At the end of the day, he didn't step onto that pit trap with the spikes and everything under him. And him knowing, he didn't just sit there and be like, okay, the king is trying to kill me. Let me just uh, stay here and yada, yada, yada. But Kalala had a plan B. Kalala went back to his father. He left the Luba kingdom, went back to his father's land, gathered up an army, then came back and conquered Congola and became the new leader, the new king of the Luba kingdom. This led to the spread of the Luba kingdom. The Luba kingdom expanded. Prosperity, abundance, peace, all the great stuff because it was under the leader of somebody who He's aware, he has plans, a great leader, a great king. That's how the Luba kingdom expanded and reached greatness, AKA paradise, all because of Kalala, but not just because of Kalala, but his awareness and his sense of, of, of 
like you've been in your life where you can sense negative energy. You know that song, Benny Siegel, feel it in the air. He said, I, I swear I feel something, honestly. That, that, that feeling when, you know, he was talking about the, the smirk in your smile, how you say your words, your body movement, is that sense of awareness in everything you do. It's, it's what Kalala had, which made him, which made him a great king, made him a great leader. Kalala, everybody loved Kalala. Kalala took over. You saw how his personality was embedded in everybody in Luba, in the Luba kingdom, and how everything just prospered. It wasn't just him micromanaging everything. It was his sense. It was his essence, his awareness. Um, carried like you know how you people talk about football like the coach is like a defensive coach the team is defensive minded the offensive coach the team is offensive minded an awareness leader the people in in luba had that sense of awareness i like the hierarchies they held artists carvers in high prestige high status it's very important a carver like uh and also they held they held women at high status because of creation birth creation of their kingdom so every time you see a staff that's prestigious like this is the staff a king will hold a lot of the staffs represented deceased kings so that deceased king the spirit of that deceased king was always believed to reincarnate in a woman's body so that's why you have a lot of the carvings a lot of the prestigious carvings high status carving with female figures on top of the staffs the ancestral aware the ancestral connection when kings would sleep and they be, and they board their they bed boards, they'll have those female statues, those two female figures. Oh, my God. 